Welcome to the Determined Man Podcast, where we help men become better versions of themselves and discover their life's purpose. Join us as we unlock the power of discipline and what it means to be determined. Remember, stay consistent, build the discipline, feed the motivation. Hey everyone, Zach here. Welcome to episode two of the Determined Man Podcast. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this episode. And this is our first episode in understanding why fitness is the foundation for becoming a better leader and figuring out what it means to be disciplined and what it means to be determined. Why is fitness the foundation? And why does it make you a better leader? We're going to unpack those today in this quick episode. Fitness is the foundation because it is a great base. And what that base is made up of is two major things. Well, one major thing, health, but two major things that make up that health. Your physical health and your mental health. And physical fitness has a thing to play in both of those. Now, the physical health is pretty self-explanatory. Last time we talked about we want to be a leader in our community, our families, leader in life, and a leader of leaders. Being physically fit enables you to be that leader. Leaders lead from the front. You're going to have to lead your peers. You're going to have to lead your subordinates. You're going to have to lead other leaders if you want to be that leader of leaders. You also are going to want to be a protector. A leader is a protector. A man is a protector. You want to protect your wife. You want to protect your household. But not only that, you want to protect your community. We also discussed that we want to understand morals and a moral compass. When you are physically fit, you're able to protect those innocent people, other people you don't know when you're just out and about in the community. When things happen, you're able to interact and be physically fit physically able to do something. Not only is physical fitness important and physical health, but mental health. And physical fitness has a direct impact on your mental health. Now guys, I have always been an extremely confident person. I don't even know how long. I've always been confident, been outgoing, never really cared what people thought about me. But I unlocked a next level of confidence in this last year when I did this transformation, lost the 40 plus pounds, became stronger, faster, and I'm still improving to this day. And the reason is I started understanding what I had a long-term vision for, what I was determined for, and what goal I had. And I became so focused on it, nothing else was gonna get in the way. And people saw that I had that drive, that motivation, that discipline, and they started treating me different and in a good way. They started interacting with me in a different way, with more respect, looking up to me, became inspirational to people. And they saw that I had self-respect and self-worth for myself, and they interacted with me differently because of that, which made me respond in a more positive light. And so it's like this cyclical you know, reaction, chain reaction and reaction, chain reaction. And it's all positive vibes. It really helped my mental health and stop making me be self-conscious about myself. Guys, the thing I like about fitness is the delayed gratification. It teaches us patience, teaches us hard work. I think that's something we need more now than ever. I see a lot of young kids nowadays, they want something right away. We have social media, we can look anything up right away. People don't have to work for anything anymore. You even see this in the business place, and I'm not knocking this, but you don't see those long careers anymore. You don't see those blue collar jobs. You work for the same company for 30 years. Now, partly that's because these businesses, right, are not paying and pensions and all that other stuff. So bounce around, getting raises all the time. But that's also establishing a pattern of instant gratification, right? Uh, people can go and just look something up on the phone. If they don't like their job, they'll quit and go get a different one. Fitness is one of those things that you get delayed gratification and you cannot get a shortcut. You've all had the saying, you can't buy a good body. It's totally true. I used to think these celebrities and they're just rich people had it so easy. How can they not be in shape? I was totally wrong. There, now it's true, some things may be easier. They might be able to afford a personal trainer. They might be able to afford the healthy foods. They don't have to work the two jobs. But all these things, are excuses that I was telling myself of why I couldn't be fit. Because as as easy as a, their lives could be with those things, 
they could also just become lazy because of those. You also see a lot of celebrities and famous people that are out of shape. They're not physically fit. So you cannot buy fitness. There may be some things to make it easier, but you have to earn it every day. And it's going to take time and time until you see the results of your, your labor. There's no tricks to it. It's like Nike says, just do it. Uh, you just have to get your body moving and just start getting active. Guys, we're going to talk about a ton of different stuff here on this podcast about fitness. This, again, is just the first episode, kind of understanding why fitness is the foundation. We're going to dive into all these different things. I'm just going to list off some real quick uh, things that we're going to be discussing. One of the first ones is going to be diet. You know, a lot of fitness, we talk about what we need to do physically. But diet is key. You can't out-exercise a bad diet. We've all heard this before. But one of the things that I think I'm, I have a different approach to is it's not what you have to eat. It's what you have to give up. And for me, giving up something was always easier than starting something new. So we'll discuss that. I mean, the big thing is obviously going to be soda, alcohol, fast food, all that kind of stuff. But we'll talk into it. Uh, giving up something versus starting something. Uh, there's stuff out there like they, you always hear about steady state cardio, hear about strength training, resistance training, hit training, CrossFit, endurance training, marathon. Uh, all I'm going to say is as you go down your fitness journey, you're going to read and hear a lot of different stuff. People are going to tell you, do this, do that. Only this will work. You need to do this if you want to do that, right? Do what works for you. You'll hear me say it all the time. Consistency is key. Consistency is key. You need to be motivated about what you want to do. Enjoy what kind of fitness journey you're on because it's going to help you stay consistent. And once you start building success in your fitness journey, you'll become more confident. It'll become easier. It'll become a habit routine. And then you can start developing into those other categories. But I would just recommend you just do what you like, do what you enjoy, something that you're going to be able to do every day. And I will tell you this, as you get more fit, people are going to praise you, but they will also criticize you. And I will say it in the same way. They're going to tell you you're doing the wrong thing. You're going to be lifting it the wrong way. You need to do this. And they're also not going to understand you. They're not going to understand the journey you're on. A lot of your normal friends that you have now, they're not going to understand why you want to get up early and go to the gym. They're not going to understand why you can't go out and go get drinks or or stay up late and go to go see the concert because you are going to be determined and focused on your goal. But I just say that to say, you know, you're going to hear a lot of noise, but as long as you're focused and we're going to get you focused, we're going to stay focused and we're going to be focused on a long-term goal to become more fit. One of the things when you get on this noise, it's kind of interesting. You became more confident. We talked about our mental uh, health and why you get more confidence as you become fit. The cool thing is you gain so much confidence on your fitness journey. When people start to attack you with all these different things and not understanding, it's almost like you're building a barrier while you're becoming more fit and you can handle that and you become more confident in yourself and you know you're on the right path no matter what anyone else is saying. So it's, it's very interesting. Trust me on this. Start small and just keep moving and you are going to gain that confidence. Guys, next week, we're going to dive into the beginning of my fitness journey, what I did and what I'm going to recommend that people do moving forward. It's going to start with one simple thing, movement. Movement is key, and we are going to specifically talk about walking. The great thing about being fit, you don't have to be this gym buff guy going to the gym, doing these marathons to become fit. You can eat right and you can move and you are going to be healthier than a majority of Americans, right? So go out there, get your walks in, eat right. I'm not even saying you have to do macros and all that stuff. That That's over, like, that. that's stressful. That's a lot of information to know. Just cut out the junk food, cut out the sodas, and start moving and start walking, and you'll be able to get there. Guys, we're going to talk way more about it next week. We're going to dive into it. I want you guys to stay consistent, build that discipline, feed the motivation, and we're going to see you next week. And until then, go out there and get some. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.